Welcome, my dear learners, for this course on Engineering Graphics. In our module 5, we were discussing about isometric projection. Let us continue our discussion on isometric projection. The problem number 8 of our discussion states that a hemisphere of 40 mm diameter is supported coaxially on the vertex of a cone of base diameter 60 mm and axis length 50 mm. The flat circular face of the hemisphere is facing upside. Draw the isometric projection of combined solid. So we have a cone of base diameter 60 mm and axis length 50 mm. On the vertex of this cone, we have an hemisphere of 40 mm diameter supported coaxial. So first, let us draw the top view of this combined solid. If I look at this hemisphere and cone in the top view both will appear like a circle. So therefore, if you draw the top view first, always you draw the top view and extract the front view by using the top view what you have drawn. So finally, with the help of this front view and top view, extract the isometric projection of the given combination of solids. Let us first keep this combined solid on HP without inclining to any of the planes. If I view this combined solid in the top view, I can see the hemisphere as a circle and also the base of the cone as a circle. So therefore, the top view of the given combination of solid is Now, first drawing the base which is nothing but a cone of diameter 60 mm. So, take radius 30 millimeters and construct a circle. This represents the top view of the cone. Now, if I look at the hemisphere from the top, I can see one more circle that is of diameter 40 millimeters. So, therefore, taking a radius of 20 millimeters in the same center you construct one more circle. Now dark the top view of the combined solids and take the projection vertically upwards. Mark the base of the cone which is 60 millimeters marking the axis of the cone for a height of 50 mm. Connect either corners to represent the cone which gives us two slant generators. So this completes the front view and top view of the right circular cone. Now on the top of this we have an hemisphere. The flat surface of the hemisphere is facing top side. So therefore measure the radius of the hemisphere the radius of the hemisphere is 20 mm so therefore extend the axis by an amount of 20 mm further this will give us the centers O1 O2 and O3 with O3 as center O3 O2 as radius which is equal to 20 millimeters draw in semicircle which represents the hemisphere. Connect this to represent the flat surface of the hemisphere. Now extend the projection this completes the given front view and top view of the combined solid represent the dimensions. Now to consider the isometric projection of this given combined solid I should construct a square around these two circles. No need to construct a square. By visual inspection itself, we can say that if I construct a square for this cone, I will get a square of dimension 60 mm cross 60 mm. So therefore, first you draw the isometric projection of square of side 60 mm cross 60 mm and inside that isometric projection of square of 60 mm cross 60 mm, you construct the circle by 4 center method. That is select two lines of 
inclination with 30 degrees on these two lines mark six boxes cross six boxes on either side now draw parallel lines to complete the isometric projection of the square of side 60 mm cross 60 mm Now mark centers C1 and C2. To construct the circle by four center method, draw the perpendicular bisectors from corner C1 and from corner C2. You have to do that. Identify the center on all four sides. That is choosing three boxes on all the four sides. Draw the perpendicular bisectors. Thereby mark the centers C3 and C4. Now using compass, keeping at center C1, take the perpendicular bisector as radius. Connect the perpendicular bisectors drawn from center C1. Similarly, keeping at center C2, taking the perpendicular bisector as radius, draw an arc connecting the perpendicular bisector drawn from center C2. Now keeping at center C3, close the arcs. Similarly, keeping at center C4, close the arcs. This completes the base of the cone. Now with the center O1, measure the height of the cone which is nothing but 50 mm so therefore choose 5 boxes vertically upwards and mark center O2 with center O1 select 5 boxes vertically upwards so choosing 5 boxes vertically upwards on an isometric sheet I will get center O2 now from center O2 draw the tangents to the Circle drawn by 4 center method. This completes the isometric projection of cone on an ISO sheet. Now, from center O2, measure the dimension of the axis of the hemisphere, which is 20 mm. So, therefore, mark two boxes vertically upwards. If I choose two boxes, vertically upwards to mark center O3 we get center O3 now at center O3 I should construct the top face of the hemisphere because the flat face of the hemisphere is upside now the top face is a circle of diameter 40 mm if I enclose it in a square I will get a square of say 40 mm cross 40 mm so therefore with O3 as center, construct a square of say 40 mm cross 40 mm, which is nothing but 4 boxes cross 4 boxes. You have to do that, I want the grid sheet. So, therefore, let me construct the grids at center O3 first. If I do that,
Now, to consider the square of four boxes cross four boxes, choose two boxes up, two boxes down, two boxes towards left, and two boxes towards right. That is. I am choosing 4 boxes because I am doing it in the scale of 2 is to 1. You people should choose 2 boxes up, 2 boxes down, 2 boxes left and 2 boxes towards right. And can complete the square. This completes the isometric projection of square enclosing the circle of diameter 40 mm. Now inside this square you reconstruct the circle by 4 cm method. That is taking this as center C1 and we have center C2 draw perpendicular bisectors from center C1 and center C2 to identify the centers C3 and C4. You have to do that mark two boxes on all the four sides drawing the perpendicular bisectors from center C1 and from center C2 you will get centers C3 and C4 now keeping at center C1 which is nothing but O2 taking the perpendicular bisector as radius connect the perpendicular bisectors drawn by center C1. Similarly, keeping at center C2, taking the perpendicular bisector as radius, connect the perpendicular bisectors drawn from center C2. Now, keeping at center C3, close these two arcs. Similarly, Keeping at center C4, close the arcs. This completes the isometric projection of circle of diameter 40 mm with circle by 4 center method. Now, to complete the hemisphere, you should consider the semicircle to the true radius. The true radius is 20 millimeters. So, therefore, don't choose two boxes, choose two centimeters of true radius keeping at center O3 draw the semicircle so this completes the isometric projection of hemisphere of diameter 40 millimeters a careful observation is that O3 to O2 is an iso radius of 20 mm whereas O3 to this circumference we have true radius that is 20 millimeters not two boxes from O2 to O3 is two boxes but from O3 to the circumference is the true radius of this hemisphere now to complete the drawing dark the visible curves edges or semicircles that is the top face is completely visible and the hemisphere is completely visible And also the slant generators from the point where it is visible you draw the tangent now from the point of tangent to the point of tangent you dark the curve
So this completes the isometric projection of given combination of solids. But in isometric projection, one should not show any construction lines, any dimensions and any angles. So therefore, if I erase all construction lines which I have drawn, the final isometric projection will look like this is the final view of isometric projection of given combined solid. One should not show any dimensions, but for your reference, I am showing the difference between the iso radius and the true radius of this hemisphere. This is the front view of the given combined solid, this is the top view of the given combined solid, and this is the isometric projection of given combined solid. That's all from this lecture. Thank you.